Franklin Coming over to play Growing a little Every day Here he comes with all his friends They've got stories, got time to spend Come in your house Hey, it's Franklin Come into my house Hey, it's Franklin Franklin's visitor Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes He had a pet goldfish named Goldie and a best friend named Bear. One day, Franklin wondered if Goldie needed a friend, too. Do you think Goldie is okay? She looks fine to me. I wonder if she gets bored. Hmm, maybe she'd like something to play with. I don't think so. Fish don't like to play with the same things we do. And it's no fun playing ball by yourself anyway. Do you think she gets lonely? She can play with you. But I'm not always here. Sometimes I'm at school or playing at your house. When you live in a fishbowl, it's hard to go places with your friend, isn't it, Goldie? But I could bring a friend to her house. Come on, Bear. Let's find a friend for Goldie. It'll have to be a friend who likes getting wet. It has to be something friendly. Friendly and not too big. It's hard to see anything in there. Hey, I've got something. And it's just the right size, too. I hope it's friendly. It's not moving. It's just a friendly rock. <laughs> friendly and boring. There's something. Crayfish. Do you think Goldie would like to play with that? It looks a little mean. I don't want Goldie to get hurt. We need something that's just Goldie's size. Try in those weeds. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Whoa! What happened, Franklin? I stepped in a deep spot. Did you lose the jar? Here it is. Hey, Franklin, I think you caught something. I did! It's a minnow! Goldie couldn't ask for a better friend than that. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. After Goldie meets her new friend, I'll go to the soccer field. Great! I'll go get my ball. See you later. See ya. Hey, Mom! Look what I... Oh. Uh, hi. Is this him, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's him. Hello, Franklin. Hi, Franklin. I'm Mole. Hi. Mole is visiting his grandfather this week. I thought you might have some fun playing together. Sure. What's in your jar? A minnow. It's for Goldie. Come on, I'll show you. Okay. I knew he'd like Franklin. He's about the same age, you know. I'm sure they'll get along fine. Hi, Goldie. I've got a surprise for you. Ta-da! A new friend. You sure have a lot of neat toys. Thanks. You're going to have lots of fun together. Do you want to go and play soccer? I want to play with this. I guess we can play with the airplane for a little while. Pilot to go, pilot. Are we ready for takeoff? Co-pilot to pilot. All ready. <laughs> pilot to go, pilot. How's the weather up ahead? Sunny skies. <laughs> Look! Down here! What is it? It's a soccer field! Let's land and play for a while. Want to? No, we've got to deliver the medicine to the sick people! Oh no, we're flying into a thunderstorm! Crash! Boom! We're going out of control! Pull up! Pull up! Woo, I did it! Boy, that 
That was a close one. There's the village. Prepare to land. <laughs> now all the sick people can have their medicine. Hooray! Good. Now that we're done flying, can we go outside and... Uh... It sounds like you two are having a lot of fun in here. Whenever you get hungry, I've made a little snack in the kitchen. Snack? Oh, boy! <sighs> Everything okay? Yeah. <sighs> Do you guys want a snack, too? you enjoyed them. Well, Franklin, what do you want to do now? Play soccer? Maybe later on. You've got a neat-looking train I want to see. Come on! with Mr. Mole's grandson. Whoa, look at this! Neat, I can blast the tree off the train tracks with a laser beam! These are my friends Bear and Beaver. Hello. Hi. Oh, hi! Gee, are you guys ever lucky? You get to play with Franklin's toys all the time. Yeah, I guess so. I'm sorry I missed the game. I really wanted to come. We could have a quick game now if you want. Yeah, both of you can come. No thanks, we're having lots of fun here. And there's still a bunch of toys I haven't played with yet. <laughs> Blown to smithereens! The tracks are clear again. Well, I'll play soccer tomorrow, Franklin. I guess I'll see you later. I guess. So long, Franklin. Now the train is coming up to a big mountain. Can it climb to the top? Your grandfather is here, Mo. Aw, already? The tow went by so fast. You're here all week. I'm sure you'll be able to see Franklin again. Like tomorrow? Please? Please? Well, would that be all right with you folks? Yes, that would be all right. And perhaps Franklin could introduce you to his other friends, hmm? Uh, sure. I'm sure glad you're friends with Franklin's family, Grandpa. Well, I'm glad to. What am I going to do? Will I ever get to play with my other friends? Good morning, Goldie. How did you and your friends sleep last night? What's the matter, Goldie? You don't look very happy. You've hardly touched your cereal. Is there something the matter? Goldie's not happy and she's not eating. She was fine before I put the minnow in her bowl. Do you think the minnow is being mean to Goldie? No, I think the minnow's nice, but they never play together. Maybe the two fish will get used to each other and everything will be okay. I don't think so. I was afraid that Goldie was lonely, but she was happier before. I think I'll put the minnow back in the stream. That sounds like a good idea to me. What are you going to do with Mole today? Lay in my room, I guess. Is that a problem? Mole is nice, but he wants to do different things than I do. I want to do something so we can both have fun. You're not going to put him in the stream, are you? <laughs> Dad! <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe that's a good idea. What? What? Thanks, Dad!
There you go. Here, Goldie. This is for you. It was hard for you to say you weren't having fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I know what it's like. Hi, Franklin! Oh, hi, Mole. Are you ready to go to the stream with me? The stream? Why do we have to go there? I've thought of something fun to do. But I'm already having fun. You go and I'll wait here. Just come with me and we'll both have fun. You'll see. Well, I guess we could go there for a few minutes. Great! Sorry it didn't work out, little minnow. Goldie and the minnow didn't get along, huh? They're just different. Different? They're almost the same. Yeah, in some ways. But they like doing different things. Sort of like you and Mole, huh, Franklin? Hey, does Mole want to play too? Hey, Mole, we're going to race boats now. Do you want to play too? Maybe later on. Captain, the sea is getting rough. Button down the hatches. There's a storm ahead. <sighs> <laughs> Franklin's not so broken bone. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could ride a bike and play baseball with his friends. But one day, Franklin couldn't do all of his favorite things. Oh, that's neat! Yeah. Wow! Never seen one of those before. And why do you use this device when you're cooking an egg? When all the sand runs down to the bottom, you know the egg is cooked just right. That's an interesting show-and-tell item, Rabbit. Ah, Skunk! Your mother told me you'd be a little late. Bear, look at that! As you can see, Skunk has injured her arm. Perhaps she would show and tell us all about it, hmm? Tell us, Skunk? Yeah! yeah. What happened? I was riding my bike and pedaling really fast. Then my wheel hit a stone, and I went flying through the air and fell on my arm and broke it. Oh, dear. Ooh, that Yikes. must have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it did. And then I went to the doctor, and she put this cast on my arm. Wow, it's as hard as a rock. Indeed it is, Fox. It helps to hold the bones in just the right spot while they heal. Can I touch it? Uh-huh. It sounds like your shell. <laughs> <laughs> A musical show and tell. Marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, this is so neat. Me next, me next. Then me. I'm after Beaver. And then write 20 after that. Thanks, Beaver. You're welcome, Skunk. I like helping you. I'm right-handed, too, so I know how wobbly it is to write with your left hand. Skunk is sure getting lots of attention, isn't she? Yeah. Fox peeled her orange at lunch, and Goose gave her a cookie. Beaver pushed her on the swings. And we're finishing Skunk's Volcano. But I wanted to work on this anyway. It's neat. I wish I had a cast on my arm, Bear. Really? Yeah. Everyone would draw pictures on it. And everybody would treat me special. But you've got to have an accident before you have a cast. I want a cast, but I don't want to get hurt or anything. Hmm. Franklin, I just thought of a way I can make your wish come true. Hold still, Franklin. You're moving too much. It just feels so weird. You did a good job, Bear. You mean Dr. Bear. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dr. Bear. <laughs> Ow! You'll have to be more careful. You wouldn't want to have a cast on your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin and Bear have been in the shed for hours. I wonder what they're up to. Yes, perhaps I should... Oh, dear. Take a look at what our son's been up to. Oh, Franklin. My goodness. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Don't 
Don't worry, Mrs. Turtle. I fixed him up. What happened? Did you have an accident? Uh, tell them, Franklin. I forget. Um, I was pretending to be an eagle. Ah, ah, ah. And he flew straight for this, uh, mountain. A huge mountain. And then... And then this great big snowball came crashing down the mountain. And it rolled over me and scrunch. And then I put a cast on his wing. Oh, uh, I mean his arm. So the bones would heal in just the right spot. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you two have had a very busy morning. You've done a very uh, large job there, Bear. Thank you. Can you wiggle your fingers for me? It seems harmless enough. It's not too tight, is it, Franklin? No, it's okay. Come on, Bear, let's go and play. Okay. This reminds me of that time he stuck all those bandages to himself. It was great fun until he had to peel them off. I hope paper mache comes off easier. That's neat, Franklin. Bear can do them for you, too, if you want. Yeah. It's fun, and I'm good at it. Franklin's mom even said so. I'm not so sure if I want one. Can you still ride your bike? Well, we tried that, and it's not such a good idea. Can you climb up in the tree fort? That's kind of hard, too, because you need to bend your arm to climb up the tree. What can you do? Oh, lots of stuff. You can get your friends to draw on it. Yeah? yeah. We did that. Um, I know, you can break sticks with it, and it doesn't even hurt. Yeah, watch this. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Hold it up more, Bear. Hi-ya! Hi-ya! Hmm, I'll find a different stick. Do you guys want to go and do something? Sure. Yeah, okay. Here's a good one. <laughs> watch this, guys! Bye. Guys! Yippee! Did you see that? What do you want to do now, Franklin? You can pull me around in the wagon. Or you can push me on the swings again. I don't know. Why don't you take your cast off so we can go bike riding? I don't want to take it off yet. If I leave it on, I won't have to have a bath tonight. Actually, I'm starting to get hungry. I think I'll go home and see if supper is ready. See you tomorrow, Franklin. See you later, Bear. Ow! Should be trying to come up here? Why don't you just have your picnic down there, Franklin? Not when everyone else is eating up here. Ugh! Are we almost there? <sighs> You're heavy, especially with that cast on. Come on, Bear. There are only four steps to go. Ugh. I think this is worth more than one cookie. Maybe I will have my picnic on the ground. Good idea. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! Ow. Here's your lunch, Franklin. <sighs> I guess I'm stuck down here. Can I still have a cookie? But you only got me halfway up. I'll only take half then. <sighs> I'm gonna pass. How are you doing, Franklin? I have to catch my breath. Can't we ride double, Bear? Sorry, Franklin, but we're not supposed to do that. What if you ride your old tricycle? You can still do that with your cast on. No way! You can go. I'll catch up. 
Okay, I'll go slow. Still wearing your pretend cast, huh, Franklin? Yeah. And is it fun? <sighs> Yesterday it was. Hey, Franklin! Hi, Skunk. Hi. We're going swimming. Do you want to go too? Swimming? Really? Yeah. Why don't you take that cast off now? A jump in the pond would cool you down in a minute. You're right. I don't want this thing anymore. I should have taken it off last night when it was keeping me awake. See you later, guys. I can't go swimming. Are you gonna take it off or what? I was, but I think I'll keep it on a little while longer. So you're not going swimming then? Not today. You can go, Bear, and I'll see you later on. Hi, Skunk. I thought you were going swimming. I changed my mind. Do you want to do something together? Sure, I'd like that. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so cold. Ah! <laughs> 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 the water was great. Sorry you guys missed all the fun. We had fun too, didn't we, Skunk? Yeah, and that's not easy to do with a broken arm. But it helps if you have a friend who knows what it's like. <laughs>